Hey guys, how are you? Mr. Argetta here, coming to you. Uh, week number six, we are almost done. Um, as I mentioned before, week seven is the last week that you will have any type of chapter work. So uh, the last two chapter assignments are going to be next week. And then week eight leaves us with just the final. That's all you have to do. So uh, we're really coming down to the end of this um, class. Um, if you are watching this video and you are not doing well, uh, please talk to the success coaches here to figure out what you need to do. Maybe it's a better option to withdraw from the class before it's too late. Um, it's unfortunate sometimes that happens, I understand. But make sure you're taking advantage of that if you're not going to make it successfully out of this class. That being said, I want to thank you for your last week discussion. I'll be reading through that, leaders versus managers. I'm excited to see what you have. This is how I gauge if the class is doing well or not. It's understanding when they when they when they're able to explain to me what we're trying to teach. And I think that a lot of you do that very well. Uh, I want to thank you for that. Now, I also noticed that in this week's discussion, people jumped on that right away. Uh, there's two videos. One of them is my speech from uh, when I um, won the uh, Teacher of the Year Award. And then the other one, which is the required one, is the uh, Randy Potash thing that I mentioned last week. This is by far my favorite discussion. I love reading your vision, your goals, your aspirations. Um, as you will know, I come from a very poor background and was blessed to have a system of support to help me get through where I'm at today. And um, I understand a lot of you are right now working. I read one person who said that their children asked them, you know, why are they on going to school? And they said for to have a better future for them. Uh, that that was the goal for me to give my children an opportunity to have something I never did. But see, my parents said the same thing to me, you know, when they came to this country with literally nothing but the clothes on their back. Um, they had a dream that their children were going to be better than them and better than the people previous to them, my grandparents. And by the grace of God, we've uh, seen improvement in our family. Uh, my my sisters are educated women, uh, and my wife's an educated uh, a woman, a teacher in our community. And, um, you know, my children are going to college. So that is a big dream of ours to see that. Um, so uh, I'm excited to read your statement of purpose. I'm excited to see your dream, to be a part of that, at least a little bit a part of that. Um, uh, there was a couple of things that I wanted to mention here to keep in mind. Uh, please keep in mind that, uh, you know, uh, my function here is to see you succeed in this program as the as an as your instructor, but also as the program director. My job is to help develop and guide the curriculum of this program to be effective and efficient for you to learn stuff that you need so you can go and actually do something with this education. So I'm excited to hear what you have going on in your life. I'm excited to see what's happening in your life. We have some crazy stuff happening in our class. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed a Kimberly. I think her, her, I think that's pronounced right, but it's not with a case with a Q. Uh, she had a baby boy. I saw a picture, uh, you know, of that baby, beautiful baby. Congratulations! I know there's several people out there that life is happening while we're in class. Like you're in the middle of class. Kimberly had a baby while she's in class, man. Kudos to you. You're super, you're my hero. Uh, you know, I get a stomach ache and I don't want to come to work. So I admire you. Um, but she's not the only one. We have uh, tons of you guys that are working, taking care of your families, doing tons and other stuff. I get it. So here's my deal to you. Um, as I did before, when it comes to your midterm, I drop one chapter's worth of your grade. So on this half of the semester, so this second half of our semester, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grant one more chapter's worth of your lowest grades. So that should help you, but I want you to make sure you go on and check your grade. Make sure that you 
are where you need to be to be successful in this class, guys. Um, that's part of your responsibility. I have 66 uh, students in this class. It's a big class. Uh, I don't follow up on each as much as I try. Uh, I, I can't. So that's a part of you. That's your side of the coin. Please go in there check your grades and uh, i'm going to go in there after this video drop the lowest grades one chapter's worth of that um here's my advice if you have not completed all your discussions do that that's the biggest impact on your grade in this class is 30 percent of your overall grade comes from your discussions make sure you get as many points as possible through those discussions I rather you miss one chapter quiz versus one discussion because one chapter quiz is not going to impact you as much as a discussion will. So make sure you do that. Um, next week, last week of information, last week of stuff, we're going to be doing a financial uh, one, a financial discussion. I uh, want to talk about the fi uh, you know different vehicles to make money through the financial side of things in business. So I've noticed throughout the years that a lot of times people, when they talk about business, they refer to two or three concepts, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship side of business, which is like a business management on the entrepreneurship side, and or talk about financial side, the finances of it, not to be confused with accounting, which is like the management of the money. Uh, finances are the vehicles to make money, the, the uh, stock market, mutual funds, bonds, securities. We're not going to dive deep into that because this is not that level of class, but we are going to introduce that. And I believe, just my personal belief, is that if you're working and you got an opportunity for a 401k, take advantage of that. If you're able to go into the stock market, take advantage of that. I am a, a big proponent of that. I think you need several sources of income to succeed in this world. It's great if you have a great paying job. I admire that. I, I commend you. But if you're able to do some investment... I recommend it. I think it's a high theme. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just, just from my point of view. Um, so anyhow, so that's going to be next week. This week, your discussion is my favorite discussion. Give me your purpose, a statement. All right. Statement of purpose. Sorry. Uh, other than that, I still haven't decided on a time for our final, but I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards what we did in the midterm. So, uh, you know what? Just, just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, guys. I, I mean, we'll see. I don't want to make any commitments at this point, but I will share with you next week what the final will look like. So just give me some time to mull it over. It's most likely that I'm going to remove the time limit. i am just got to work through it mentally. It's just a process I go through. But other than that, give me a great discussion this week, guys. And I think that's about it. What do I got for you today? So I've been teaching a Spanish class. We've been drinking some coffee, but this week is our standard pie place. Someone asked me, what's the coffee of the week? Well, that's the one. But I'll tell you what else I brought in that I enjoy. This is Mexican hot chocolate, which um, is really good. Um, so that's the, that's the hot chocolate I grew up with. But basically, I'll grab like a spoonful of that and put it in my coffee like a mocha. Ah. Oh phenomenal so it has like a, a taste of cinnamon a little hint of cinnamon but it's hot chocolate so it's it's wonderful in the coffee uh, i don't add any sugar to my coffee i just put maybe a little creamer and that and it, it's phenomenal uh so anyhow that that's the coffee tip of the week um i got nothing else juneteenth was amazing guys if you are on social media and you have facebook i'm on facebook Come check it out. See some pictures that we took and put up there. Uh, we'd love to connect with you guys. Uh, you know, I don't put anything super, super personal out there. I just keep it. I, I, I use Facebook like I would do a billboard out. I don't put anything that's going to offend anyone. I don't take any political stance. I basically just, you know, share life uh, with other people there. And uh, you're welcome to friend me there if you are on that platform. I'm also on LinkedIn. If you wanted to keep me as a reference of some sort, I could do that for you. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful start of the week. Crazy weather. Uh, we had a power outage over the weekend, but hopefully we're going to start getting better here. Hopefully, hopefully, guys. Uh, well, that's it. I appreciate you. It's been a long, long little video here, but I hope it helps and I hope it continues to help. Watch out for the survey. Please do that survey. It really makes a difference. I love to hear what you have to say about how the class went. 
Take care, guys. We'll see you. Have a good week.